Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Colors of Mathematics and in this video we would be journalizing this particular pattern. If you look at this pattern, we can't see what is growing and how it is growing. So, let's do one thing. Let's shift this particular circle, this particular dot from here to here. Then, now look at the pattern. Now we can see that every time next number is added i'll show it to you how see one dot two dots three dots and the one which is extra then again one dots two dots three dots four dots and the extra which is one then one two three four five and the one extra now you see how the triangle is growing. Every time the next number of dots is being added to the pattern. Such a pattern is known as triangular pattern. And we will see how we are going to journalize this. So let's write down how this pattern is growing. 1 plus 2 plus 3 and the constant which is 1. This is for the first figure of this pattern this is the first figure and in this we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 and plus 1 dots for the second pattern let's see how many dots we are having we are having 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 1 which is there in all the figures now for the third figure we have 1 plus 2 plus 3, plus 4, plus 5 and plus 1. Now similarly you can determine for the fourth figure like we can say for the fourth figure it's going to be you can tell it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and 6 and plus 1. Similarly now we know for 4 we have to go up to 6 for 3 we have to go up to 5 for 2 we have to go up to 4 so always 2 more than the figure number so can you guess for the 10th one for the 10th one it's going to be from 1 plus 2 plus 3 and we are going to go up to 12 because it's always 2 more and plus 1 similarly we are going to figure out for the nth nth one it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and up to n plus 2 because it is always 2 more than the number. So n plus 2 is the last term. So and 1 has to be added which is the constant. So now you see that in this 3 terms are there from 1 to 3, 3 terms from 1 to 4, 4 terms. From 1 to 5, 5 terms. In 1 to 6, there are 6 terms. You can count also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 to 12, 12 terms. So similarly, from 1 to n plus 2, there are n plus 2 terms. Remember this and then we are going to journalize this. Let's expand this a little more. This series a little more. And we can see last term is n plus 2 the term just before it is n plus 1 and another term before this is n so this is the series and we are adding 1 to it now we have to do one thing that we have to see pairs there are n plus 2 terms remember this and if we add the first and the last term we will get n plus 3. If we add the second and the second last term, we will get n plus 3. If we add this third last, third term and the third last term, we will get n plus 3. And you can also see the previous term, the prior term uh, before n is n minus 1. So if we add 4 and n minus 1, again we will get n plus 3. So now we have we are trying to make the pairs. You see there are n plus 2 terms. So how many pairs will be there? 
10 plus 2 divided by 2. And the, what is the value of each pair? It is n plus 3. So this series is generalized as n plus 2 divided by 2 into n plus 3. So the whole pattern is generalized as this. So this is the journal term, nth term for the whole sequence, this sequence. Now if we have to figure out how many dots will be there in the 100th figure. So we will simply put n equal to 100. So we are going to get 100 plus 2 divided by 2 into 100 plus 3 plus 1. So this is going to be 102 divided by 2 into 103 plus 1 which is going to be 51 into 103 plus 1 which is 5253 plus 1 which is equal to 5254. So like this we can figure out the number of dots in any term or any figure. I hope it is clear. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. The, what is the value of each pair? It is n plus 3. So this series is generalized as n plus 2 divided by 2 into n plus 3. So the whole pattern is generalized as this. So this is the journal term, nth term for the whole sequence, this sequence. Now if we have to figure out how many dots will be there in the 100th figure. So we will simply put n equal to 100. So we are going to get 100 plus 2 divided by 2 into 100 plus 3 plus 1. So this is going to be 102 divided by 2 into 103 plus 1 which is going to be 51 into 103 plus 1 which is 5253 plus 1 which is equal to 5254. So like this we can figure out the number of dots in any term or any figure. I hope it is clear. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.